As we saw before, if you click on any of these icons, we have a several sitting here. Okay. I want to explain in this lesson the settings of the word. If you click the settings, we have very important setting in the word. And of course, we have a component, three components here that I explain it. Force movement, object deletion threshold, that is very for optimizing your uh, application seen in some iPhone, iPhones or smartphones, and this is a score. The first thing, this is a name. You can change the name your, for example, word number one. If you add another word here, it right click, but unfortunately we are in a free version. We cannot, if you want, you can go to the pro version. But in this time, one word is enough for us. And here you can change the gravity. The gravity is the in a Y direction. Look at this. We have two uh, axis in build box y axis and the uh, x axis so an x axis and the y axis okay this is our object for example and the uh, gravity is an unusual word is in this direction this direction is a negative y here in a negative y and here is a negative x <clears throat> If you want to all of objects uh, except the character, because the character has its own gravity and in its own setting, these settings just affect the, all the objects in a scene except character. Character. <clears throat> so, this is an Y box and this is an uh, X box. This is an X uh, box for changing the gravity, and this is an Y. This is a Y number. As you can see, it's in a negative any number that you want. If you go into the word in a double click, and as you can see, this is a uh, platform. If you go in the platform here and D, D, D to like, uh, go into the enemy here. And if you play the game, as you can see, all of them does not fall because we didn't make them uh, physical objects. It's a preset. It's automatically add a client here send and change the object to the physics this isn't it, the purpose mode it wasn't a fixed you can change the preset here or you can change the setting i'll be explained and then d d d to copy that and as you can see it's fall down because of the gravity and of course the character fall down because of the gravity you can change the the gravity uh, of the gravities affect the character but if you're going and set the gravity zero and plate as you can see of objects and uh, this is a physical object and the object does not fall okay uh, the gravity uh, effect uh, character also but all of the uh, object does not and of course uh, you can set it to the zero, but you can go and in advanced mode or other setting, change the gravity of your object <coughs> uh, separately. Okay. And this is on gravity. If you want to more gravity, you can add any number here, the negative or the positive object. If you set it to the positive, all of your objects going up. Okay. As you can see so the gravity is very important and in some games that the game direction is up and down you have to set the gravity at the zero so this number is enough for our gravity if you want your object fall faster in a down you can select the gravity more out the more number so this is on gravity in some cases we can use it uh, we will be explain the games in a new if you go into the new and change the settings time warp the time warp is uh, it's actually the how fast or a small how fast or slow your game is for example if you set it to the 10 and play it as you can see the game is so slow if you go and jump we are in a slow mode. 
So the time warp is actually how your game is <coughs> slow or fast. For example, make it to the 100, and as you can see, our game was very fast. You can jump, jump, and everything is fast. Okay, so time warp is about your game speed. The friction, the friction is the friction between the object, not the character. The character has its own friction. For example, if you set it in a zero and go into the word and I select the objects here. And if you select open, as you can see, we have no friction and there slide over the objects. As you can see, it's actually an ice. For example, if you want to make an ice game, you can select. As you can see, character has its own uh, friction. But other objects. But if you go into the, this map and click on the word, and here you can change the friction in a high number and they stick to their positions. <clears throat> okay, as you can see and uh can close okay so this is a friction of the whole objects and in a previous lesson in the motorcycle i change it and you can see the velocity drag if you make it up it looks like your game is underwater if you want to make a game that you are in on water you can change the velocity drag and also the character has its own velocity drag if you set it and then start, as you can see, if I drop them, it's actually they're in a mod or something like that. See the objects? It looks like in a mod. Or you can, if you set it lower number. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, it looks like they are on water and you can not uh change the option okay this is an uh, all about the velocity drag if you zero it's act normal and the interesting part is the bounce this is for object for example if you make a higher number the bone bounce if the object falls down as you can see they are bouncing bouncing and as you can see the bouncing is uh changing the its effect effect the character okay this bounce is uh, affect all of them, but we have a special bounce in our character. If you go into the war in a character, as you can see in the gameplay, we have maximum force bounce here. But it's affect the whole object. Some of the settings, a little effect the character here you can change the box if you score the number you can multiply multiply it here for example if you score one coin the one score you can make 10 it's go to the 10 multiply to 10 and i've explained the score an important thing an important thing is the game direction and the game direction in a software is uh, something complex and strange. For example, uh, okay, in here, if you want to your game, sorry, if your game, if your if you want your game going to the this direction, this is an zero. <clears throat> If you want your game to go into the this direction, you have to set it to negative 90. It's vice versa. I don't know why, but you go up to negative. If you want your game going to the this direction, the camera going to the this direction, it's positive 90. And if you want to go into this direction, 180. Sorry for that. If you're going to the new in the game, as you can see, this is an zero. It means your game going in this direction. Going to the new, as you can see, that this this if you select 
this game double click if you go into the this game go into the its map and select the word sitting as you can see the game direction it's the up and it's the negative 19. and if you double click and play it as you can see it's again going up So, uh, if you want to make a game, you have to first select any preset of that. Okay, that's a game direction. And the camera is smooth, it means how smoothly the uh, camera go to the second uh, stage and move. Some of the sitting, I'll explain it, it's the force movement selected. Okay. As you can see, and here you can change the grid sitting. This grid sitting, you can change it any number, grid size, or anything that you want in a game. Okay, you can change the grid size in a word here, not this grid. Okay, and you can rotate the grid for making the isometric games. And here we have two components, I explain it. As you can see, I can delete them or not. Well, it's not important. If you have a very heavy scene, for example, in this direction game, we have a, a lot of a stage you can de to copy a stage. We have a lot of, for example, this is our character and the after the character and the before the character, we have a lot of heavy, high quality scene. You can delete them. You can delete them before and after. This, this become, become, uh, become your game optimized. So you can add the object deletion threshold. It means the back deletion threshold, uh, this is our character in the back of that, delete the character in this pixel and the side source. Uh, the it's depend on your game direction. In this game, if your character going up to the uh, next stage, it will delete all of the objects in a, uh, this is our, uh, if you select that, as you can see, it's going here. This is our, uh, our mm, smartphone uh, dimension. And imagine we have lots of graphics here that you cannot see because the character passed them. And this, components you can add it from here delete the back side and the side deletion uh, deletion it means uh, in if you are going the game in this direction it's uh, delete the side you can set it any number that you want here the sides or the back uh, Add this because it's very useful. You can set it in high number, the pixel. For example, 700, delete the 700 pixel back of the character to pass them. Another important component in some cases, it is the force movement. As you can see, this is our, our game and uh, the character has to go up. And in this direction, we have no gravity. As you can see, we have no gravity. The time warp and the game direction. Going to the uh, our game. Just let's explain that. For example, this is our platformer game that, as you can see, uh, the camera does not move and it's waiting to uh, moving the character as you can see and now we are moving if you want to add a force movement for example i want to add a force movement here you can select and delete it or you can as you can see we have a deletion in the sides and uh, back here you can add a force movement the minimum and the maximum uh, for example uh, here you can type a number for example this is a minimum and increase in this number for example increase 10 it's increased 10 time 10 number 
for example, from the minimum and reach to the maximum number. If you want to constant speeds, you can add a minimum and a maximum, the same number and set it to zero if you want to constant movement. And it the cause the camera force move plate, as you can see. Because the camera, as you can see, its camera is going and cause the force movement. I couldn't play. And uh, in some cases, we have to set the settings here. In a gameplay, we have something called force movement. If you untick that and play the game again, as you can see, the character stick there because it does not tick the force movement. As you can see, the camera is going by itself because of force movement. And if we stuck here, camera is stuck. Because here you can know the character gameplay. If you tick that, you can go and you can it's force the camera, force the character the movement. You can add a bounce, jump force, and everything is correct now. As you can see, it's forced the character to move with the camera. Okay, going to its settings. This is an, another component that you can use and I will explain it in some cases. For example, going to uh, this game. As you can see, it has a forced movement in this direction. If you go in plate, which game is that? As you can see, it's very fast and go in this direction, going to its worst setting. The game direction is zero, so it's come this direction. And it's as if it's at a force movement and a minimum and a maximum. It's go, oh, it's going too fast at the end of the game and it added a component. Here you can add a score component. If you add a score, that's how I explain the next lessons. After uh, gaming resets you can reset the coin reset the point and reset the distance some uh, for example we want to make a game to gain a score or a point the point is means you for example add a level going to the another level and show there in a word ui in a word ui you can add the label here i explained it here in the function, function you can add a uh, score. Okay, you can add a score, and if you have an action and it's any uh, coin, you can add a label for a score here. And after that, if you close the game and open it, you can reset your uh, score if you go into the word. Okay, you can add a reset score here if you want. Uh, after we finish the build box uh, settings, we are going to explain all of the these preset games, and it has a lot of interesting settings that you can know it. We can review them. Okay, that's it. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release